In this tutorial, we're going to check out six-ish free image compression plugins to find out which one is the best for your site. I ran two different tests. There are two clear winners in these tests and find out who they are in this tutorial. We're getting started right now. I'm going to save you the pain of a step-by-step -step tutorial for this one because really that just involves me activating plugins, getting API keys, deactivating plugins, getting other API keys, and back and forth and back and forth, and compressing images and back and forth and back and forth. It's a pain to watch, so I'm going to save you that. But if you want me to do a walkthrough of any of the plugins that I mention or cover in this tutorial, just leave a comment in the description down below letting me know which one, and I'll see if I can make that happen. So the results are in a blog post linked to in the description down below. It looks much like this one right here. And our test subjects for this test are tiny PNG or compressed JPEG and PNG images, E triple W image optimizer, the optimal image optimizer, new kit on the block, but does good work. Imageify image optimizer, short pixel image optimizer, and smush image optimizer. And like I said earlier, we're comparing the free versions of these plugins. And I also wanted to try to test this as though I were, say, one of your clients who doesn't know about image sizes and image requirements and load speeds on websites. All they know is they found an image on a stock photo website. That image is multiple megabytes large. Anybody with any website experience would compress the image first before even uploading it to a compression plugin, but they don't know that. And so they end up having very large images on their site. So the test that I did first, my image was actually 10.4 megabytes large. And that image is this one right here. And it's a nice stock image, an image you'd see on any happy website. And this guy looks like Will Smith, so I figured I have to include this image. And then the second test I did, because I had to do two, and I'll explain why in just a minute, but the second test I did was with this image here, and I compressed this in Photoshop. Didn't compress it, actually. I reduced the PPI or pixels per inch from 300 to 72. 300 is print quality, 72 is web quality. I did that in Photoshop because a bunch of the plugins I tested don't like images larger than one megabyte in the free versions. And so to make this a fair test and to give those plugins a chance with the free versions, I had to find an image that was smaller, which is actually really hard to do on a stock photo site. So I reduced the pixels per inch, got this image down to 641 kilobytes, I believe it was. Let me see. 621 kilobytes and ran the test again. So the results are quite surprising. Let's get started with the big one. So the 10.4 megabyte image, these are the results right here. And short pixel came in number one. It reduced the 10.4 megabyte image to 411 kilobytes without any complaints. That's a 96% optimization rate. And the compression type was lossy, meaning the human eye can barely tell a difference, but it's not pixel perfect. The second place contender was optimal, reduced to 431 kilobytes, only 0.1% less reduction than short pixel. Lossy as well. E triple W, I have four W's here. I've got to change that. E triple W reduced it only 17% because they, in the free version, only allow you to use lossless compression. Imageify WP Smush didn't even do anything because the image was bigger than one megabyte. So we can't see how they performed. And tiny PNG wouldn't let me get any API key. It just gave an internal server error whenever I tried to get the API key, so I couldn't actually test them. They may have been a contender, but we'll never know till the next test. And so because Imageify and WP Smush couldn't really contend because the image was bigger than one megabyte, I decided to do the second test with that line image. That was only 621 megabytes. And the results are pretty similar. Optimal is number one this time with a compression of 84.4%. Lossy compression type, short pixel, 73.4% compression, EWW only 4.4, WP Smush also only was allowing lossless with the free version for 2.4% compression. And Imageify, again, didn't play nice. It said the image has already been optimized. And all I had done was reduce from 300 DPI or PPI to 72 PPI. And I guess for Imageify for the free version, that is compression. And so it didn't get to play. I'm sure the paid version would do better, but this tutorial was about the free versions. And again, tiny PNG could not be tested. So the conclusion I came to in this test was that Optimal and Short Pixel are the two best free image compression plugins out there. 
The paid versions, I don't know how they stack up. They may be more competitive when each of these get a chance to do lossy compression because essentially the algorithms are pretty much the same. So it's not like there's a huge difference for the paid version, but the free version, there is a mega difference. Optimal and short pixel never complained about any kind of image I gave them. Everybody else complained. And tiny PMG, I'm sorry, I couldn't get the API key. Uh, so optimal and short pixel, they both have free versions, as you know. I encourage you to check them both out because one of those is gonna be better for you than the other. Try them out and see which one works best for you. There are some differences though. The optimal plugin allows you one gigabyte of free compressions every month and five gigabytes of images served every month. What does that mean? Well, that means the optimal compressions are actually done in real time. So someone comes to visit your site when they are there that's when the compression happens. And of course it's served, it's cached and then served over and over. Someone compresses an image today, that image will be served again tomorrow from the cache. But the compression happens as someone lands on the page. Whereas with short pixel and everybody else, the compression happens when you upload the image. And with optimal, it actually serves the correct size image based on the visitor's device size. So you don't run into the issue of having a mobile phone loading a desktop size image and then places like Google PageSpeed Insights or DT Metrics complaining that the images are not scaled properly. Short Pixel, on the other hand, allows you to compress 100 images per month that resets every month. And the one gigabyte for Optimal also resets every month and the five gigs bandwidth does as well. So the key difference is that Short Pixel allows you to compress a certain number of images a month, which is 100. And Optimal allows you to compress a certain gigabyte amount of images, which is one gigabyte per month. Another key benefit of Optimal that may be the tipping point between these two, the free versions of them, is Optimal has a lazy loading built into the free version. Short Pixel does not. Short Pixel is a straight up image compression plugin, and that's what it does and does it really well. Optimal compresses images really well also, but it has lazy loading built into the free version. And the paid version of Optimal also has a CDN. The paid version of Short Pixel does not. So Optimal is more than just image compression, but either way, they're two great plugins. According to this test, they are the number one and number two free image compression plugins. I encourage you to check them both out, see which one's better for you, and start compressing those images. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos that I upload. And next up is checking out this video right up here, which covers the top speed up WordPress plugins out there. So make sure you check out that video. Check out this video down here. It's the one that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.